In this video, I'll be painting with gouache every day for two weeks to learn it and see if I can improve in just 14 days. As learning slash practicing sources, I'll be using YouTube, Instagram and Skillshare. I'll start the first week with Skillshare, which by the way rejected my application to become their affiliate, so that's free advertising. You're welcome Skillshare. I decided to start my gouache painting journey by painting a stylized portrait without any prior knowledge about gouache. I did so because I wanted to later repaint the same portrait and compare the first and the last results to see whether I've learned something and made any progress. As I finished painting, which took me about two hours, I was confused by my color choices and also a background. Not saying anything about the face or hair or flowers or the hand. As I am a beginner, I shouldn't be so harsh on myself while judging my own painting capabilities. But still, I was already sure that I liked the sketch so much more than the painting itself. After this painting session, I started the Skillshare course and learned about color values, tints and shades. FYI, I believe everything that is taught on Skillshare can be found on YouTube as well. You just need to search a bit more. So I finished my learning process for the first day like this. I started the second day by continuing the course to learn a bit more about gouache before I would paint a portrait again. So I made more swatches with three primary colors which are red, yellow and blue to see how many light and dark colors I could get by mixing them with white and black colors. <laughs> when I started and finished painting the second day portrait, not to mention even more weird background, I realized that I need to use more water while mixing colors because I need to control the thickness of the medium on the paper. It seems like my colors are flat even though I'm using some shadows and trying to make textures. Also this paper is thick but definitely not made for gouache painting. Why am I using such paper? Because I'm a beginner and this is practicing. This time the painting process took me around an hour and a half. I was quite tired this day because I had worked a night shift and lacked a lot of sleep but I still wanted to keep going so first I watched the next lesson in the course and made some color wheels. At the end of the lesson I didn't have any energy left to paint a portrait so I added more lessons for this day and made some swatches to collect neutral grays which in my case turned out to be purplish but they looked beautiful. As for the mist painting session, I rescheduled it for the next fourth day, so I had to paint two portraits in one day. On this day, I almost finished painting two portraits, but didn't continue watching the gouache course. In the first portrait, the background seemed a bit better than in the previous ones, I think. Although I was disappointed how the face looked after painting, but it is what it is. This time I tried to use more water during color mixing, so the colors didn't look as thick anymore. As for the second portrait, I was tired already and as I started painting, I simultaneously started thinking about postponing it for the next day. This was the time when I also started seriously considering quitting the whole challenge. My inner critic got activated, telling me all the worst things about my commitment to the challenge and how stupid all this was and so on, you know how it can be. So it influenced me a lot and as a result I was not content with how the painting looked. I felt like I didn't get the colors I wanted while mixing 
and that I was not progressing at all. Also, washing the brushes, the plate palette, and the glasses several times felt extremely draining, as I don't like the process of cleaning in general. Now, don't think bad about me though. I always clean when there's something to clean, but I just don't enjoy the process. I don't know what happened to me that day, but I was super discouraged. Maybe because of hormones? I don't know, but my determination won and I only left the figure unpainted, hoping that I would finish the whole painting next time. So, on day 5 I finished the whole painting, the face turned out better than the one above. For the next painting I started choosing and using colors differently since I learned more about color mixing. I painted a girl holding a cat with my Gigi in mind, but I was not happy with the result in the end. My disappointment was so high, I ended up destroying the face of her because I was not able to paint proper lips, which I tried to do several times. Also, I accidentally narrowed her chin and completely damaged her face structure. Then I made another sketch and on the sketching stage the portrait seemed to be real fine and okay, but I managed to totally damage it with gouache painting. This day seemed to be worse than the previous one, but I didn't want to end it on this note, so I painted my little avocado trees that I'm growing in my kitchen. I was not extremely satisfied with the results, especially because of the paper choice, but it was somewhat better than the portraits. This day I started thinking about whether I was using proper brushes for gouache painting. Because I've been having lots of issues with the ones I've been using since the first day of this challenge. Or maybe that was just my excuse? Anyway, I ordered some sets of brushes on AliExpress, which means they will arrive at the end of the next month, so I'll have to keep going with the brushes I currently have. I also thought that maybe painting portraits is not the best way to get comfortable with gouache and that I should try painting landscapes. On this day I just took a mini Skillshare class, it was a tutorial on how to paint a bouquet in gouache and even uploaded my first finished project there. Painting portraits on my own and getting frustrated with the end result was not a good way to keep practicing gouache, so I took another mini gouache course and followed another tutorial to paint peaches, which turned out looking not so bad. I didn't do any other independent practicing but started a new 15 day challenge course during which you create several paintings with the teacher. Before starting to paint big landscapes, I practiced blending and layering with gouache and got to know more about how I can use my brushes. Thanks to this practice, I realized that it's not necessary to have specific brushes, I just need to practice with the ones I already have, try them, learn about what I can achieve with their forms and get familiar with their capabilities. As I finished practicing, I started following the teacher's tutorials and painted cloudy skies with gouache for the first time. 
This day I painted a bigger landscape for the first time. As it's obvious, I was not very good at controlling myself not to pass the margins, even though I was using a washi tape. The painting seems to be a bit muddy, but I think it's because of the paper, which is not made for color blending. Other than that, it's detectable what's going on in the painting, so it was a good practice. Also that day I tried an Instagram gouache tutorial for the first time and made a reel out of the process to share on Instagram, on my page. This tutorial was easy to follow because it was clear and self-explanatory, so I was content with the result. The original creator of the tutorial also saw the reel and shared on her story, which was a lovely gesture. On this day I painted a scene from Skillshare class and then I followed the tutorial from YouTube. As for this painting, to be honest, I don't really enjoy painting this kind of realistic looking scenes because I prefer stylized painting more, but for the sake of learning I'm gonna keep following the course till the end. Hopefully. <laughs> For this day, I chose a video tutorial from YouTube channel called Zoe Art Garden. As I watched the tutorial first, it seemed to be quite easy to follow, but when I started painting, at some point I realized that making more details would take a lot more time. And since sun was setting, I skipped some final details and simplified the painting for myself. The end result did not completely look like what was painted in the video, but it still looked cute, so I was content. On day 10 I painted another landscape from the course. I've already painted on this thick paper enough to know that it's not capable to handle water well. That's why the blended areas look muddy. I want to try painting a landscape on a thinner paper to see how it will handle blending. After that, I followed a YouTube tutorial from the channel Meetup and painted this cute scene with fluffy clouds and bright colored flowers. I'd love to practice such things more. To my surprise, day 11's painting came out as cleaner than the paintings from the gouache course. Did this mean I mastered some aspect of blending? I know for sure that considering the paper's resistance towards water, I tried not to overblend colors as much and also used a bit less water. I also painted a strawberry from an Instagram tutorial made by Egg 316 It didn't seem to be as detailed as the pomegranate tutorial, but during painting, the steps turned out to be understandable and I successfully finished this little piece. On this day, I was a bit lazy as I only painted from a course. I experimented with a thinner paper, but it was worse uh, for color blending than the thicker paper and took more time to dry. The sky colors did not get blended well, also I was too scared to rip the paper apart by adding more water or white color to make the transition more smooth between colors, so I just left it that way. This day I traditionally started with a course and made another landscape painting with lots of mistakes by the way you hopefully can see, but I know they are there. 
And then I did a fluffy cloud study from a reference without a tutorial for the first time. And I failed. But to my surprise, it didn't discourage me in any way. I just need to practice painting more fluffy clouds and that's all. The final day had arrived and for the first time during the challenge I decided to use a proper paper for gouache painting. This is a watercolor paper but as I learned gouache works very well on watercolor papers. I was ready to test it but I also was quite scared. This paper made some kind of a difference and what I mean by that is that this landscape painting looks a bit better than the previous ones. I plan to finish this Skillshare course and paint the rest of the landscapes. I also repainted the first day portrait of this challenge on the watercolor paper to check whether I improved my skills, my painting skills or not. What I gained from this two-week experience is that my ability of recognizing colors got better, my blending and mixing skills got better, my patience and discipline got sharper, and I defeated my inner critic, which I have no idea why is acting as my enemy since it's inside of me and instead of coexisting with me harmoniously, tries to let me down every time it gets a chance. I got more comfortable with using a new art medium, gouache. I filled many pages of the sketchbook that I'm trying to finish till new year. I tried something new and left my comfort zone for quite a while. And I dare you do the same. Try to learn using a new medium for two weeks and see what good comes out of it. And this is the result. Did I improve in any way? What I know for sure is that I will keep using gouache frequently and I'm already thinking about my next challenge, which is going to be...